And hello. So when your application goes live, at some point of time, you will have uh, random bot accounts signing up to your application or filling in forms that do not require registration. And uh, to fight this, uh, uh, it is one of the reasons you will need some kind of recapture. Now, you have definitely seen uh, Google recapture on many websites around the internet, and there are some alternatives. And uh, it's often good to use some kind of alternative and not be dependent on uh, Google services when you uh, have the opportunity not to. So here I present to you a Ruby on Rails uh, gem named the Invisible Recapture that is actually really good and uh, prevents most of uh, bot signups. And uh, how does it work? Basically, it uh, has a few strategies. One of them is uh, adding an invisible field that a user would uh, not see in the HTML and wouldn't uh, fill in, but a bot would automatically try to fill it in. And also, like when you fill in some kind of form uh, online, there is uh, some kind of human time needed to fill in a form. Like you cannot usually fill in a form in less than uh, four seconds or whatever. And uh, this gem also, uh, when added to a specific form, uh, adds a setting that uh, a form uh, that is submitted too fast is uh, expected to be submitted by a bot, so it doesn't uh, work. So anyway, let's try to install the gem Invisible Recapture and see how it works in action. So first of all, I'm going to get the gem and uh, add it to our gem file like this and run bundle. And what's next? Well, it's quite straightforward. We can add the Invisible capture for the form. Well, this would be the create and update actions. You can do it just for create if you want. So let's say I will go to uh, app controllers, uh, post controller. And here I would add this uh, additional before action for invisible capture only for create and update. And I would uh, add uh, this invisible capture field. So let's add this field to our form. I'm going to our posts uh, form. And here I will add this invisible capture field. Okay, and it should already work. Well, let's see if it works. I will start the Rails server. I will uh, open the form and press create post. Okay, it worked. Now I will try once again. So I'm going to create a post and press create post. And you see, we get this error. Sorry, that was too quick. Please resubmit. And where do we get this error from? Well, basically, here, if we look into the logs, we will see this um, potential spam detected from some kind of AP address. And it says invisible capture, timestamp, threshold not reached. So you see, it took us uh, just one second to submit the form. But if we look into the documentation of the gem, uh, there is this default uh, timestamp threshold that is uh, four seconds. So a form that is submitted in under four seconds uh, is considered a form filled in by a bot and uh, it doesn't get uh, saved. So the user or the bot would get some kind of error like, sorry, that was too quick. Now, this can be also customized. For example, uh, you can change this four seconds to another quantity of time. How can we do this? Let's go to our config. And in config, we will add a new initializer named invisible capture. So here is invisible capture.rb. We will create this file and add the default settings. So by default, there will be nothing, but it will be easier for us to whitelist or to change something. So you see, we can change the timestamp threshold to be another quantity of seconds. We can make it uh, smaller or we can make it uh, uh, bigger. So we can change it to two seconds, for example, or whatever. And also a thing that we can do, you see, if we give a message like, sorry, that was too quick to a bot, then uh, a clever bot or a person who is managing the bots can, uh, uh, in theory, uh, add this to the settings in his uh, web scraper or in his bot, whatever, and make uh, the sh threshold for when the bot submits the form uh, longer. So it would be good if we gave, uh, if we didn't give uh, exact reasons why the form wasn't submitted to uh, the bot or whatever. We can change this message to be uh, somewhat different. So we would say not uh, sorry that was too quick, but uh, sorry, something went wrong, please re resubmit.
Okay. And let's refresh. Okay, now I think uh, it will get submitted because I put a really small threshold, like two seconds. It will always take me uh, at least two seconds uh, usually to submit a form. But uh, anyway, here are some of the settings. Another thing that we can try doing is uh, actually trying to see this uh, field. So here we have our form with invisible capture. Let's try to find this field. I'll go to posts, I'll go to new post, and uh, go to that title, let's say, and tr try to inspect. Now, here we have uh, the field for the title and here we have something else, something uh, actually invisible for the user, but visible for the bots. And you see we have this, if you are a human, ignore this field. And there is a kind of invisible field with autocomplete off so that the user doesn't automatically autocomplete it by uh, mistake. So there actually is a field that is visible in the HTML, visible to the bots, but not visible to the users. And this is the magic of this gem. And here you see we have this message. If uh, you're a human, please ignore. So we can also uh, change this message. So uh, for example, you can change it to uh, if uh, uh, you're a human, ignore this field, it was, and let's say, uh, we will just add some kind of uh, other text, just uh, for example, we'll add a smile, whatever. Okay, and this is how you can use it for our post form. But what if you want to use it not for posts? What if you want to use it for a device? So for user registrations, for example. Now, when a user tries to register, if the form is sub submitted uh, uh, with some kind of uh, recapture violations, then it wouldn't work. Well, let's try to do this. How would we do it for our device uh, registrations? Well, let's uh, add uh, a controller for device registrations. And we will need to uh, add this invisible capture in the device registrations. So I will say uh, Rails generate device controllers and it will be for users and controller will be named registrations registrations okay let's see and now i have invoked this device controller so it should be added into our app controllers users registrations controller okay so here we have the registrations controller and we will actually need to update our roots accordingly so we will uh, take uh, this example and go to our config roots where are they? And here we have device for users. Now it's always good to keep device on top of the roots file. And we will say, so we're using the controller named registrations. So let's say uh, registrations will lead to users slash registrations. Okay, we will save this. And uh, now we need to actually add the, this uh, before action, uh, so invisible capture before action into our registrations controller. So we will say uh, like this invisible capture only create. Okay, and now we need to also add this uh, invisible capture into our form, into our device registrations form. Now, how do we do it? We would need to add the device views. Now, we don't need all the device views, but let's try to generate all and delete the ones that we don't need. Let's say Rails generate device views. And we will need only registrations new. So here we have generated all the device views and I will delete everything except of registrations new. Now going to registrations, we have edit and new. I'll go to new. And here we have uh, our sign up form. And here we will add this invisible capture. Okay. And let's see if it works. So uh, going back, I'm going to press sign up. Let's actually try editing this and see if it works. So I will add a tool in the end of the sign up and go uh, now. I will switch this off and go to sign up. 
okay, I will start the server. Okay, and you see, so the view works correctly, we see it. And let's now remove this tool. And uh, yeah, let's try to submit the form. So I will uh, uh, refresh, let's say, I'll refresh the form. I'll try to submit it really fast. Yeah, it, it must work now because I took quite a lot of time, but anyway, it worked. So uh, how do we trigger uh, how can we check if it works, if our invisible capture works? Well, the easiest way for us uh, to do it would be to uh, increase this time threshold. So let's make it like 20 seconds, whatever. And I will restart the server so that the changes in the initializer work. Okay, now I will go to sign up once again and input some kind of uh, email. And sign up. And you see it didn't work because it took us less than 20 seconds. So here we get uh, this error. So potential spam detected took seven seconds, but we said 20. Well, obviously 20 is too much. Uh, I think four that the gem advises by default is uh, much more acceptable, but it was just for trying. Anyway, uh, now there will be really few bots signing up to your live uh, Ruby Rails application if you use this gem. And it's really cool that it doesn't depend on Google and on any other external services. So uh, the fewer dependencies and the few external dependencies your application has, the easier and leaner your approach is. And uh, I really recommend using this gem. I've actually previously used uh, uh, Google Recapture in all my applications, but uh, with time, I tried using Invisible Capture, and it does the work of not letting the uh, uh, bot accounts sign up into the application. So I hope you enjoyed the episode, and uh, tell me if you uh, succeed with integrating uh, this feature into your application. Goodbye.